Welcome to this video on functions. We are talking about C programming concepts. So let's start. So you all must be familiar with this character which you are watching on the screen. Yes, it is Ginny from the movie Aladdin. So we know that whenever Aladdin used to call Ginny, the Ginny used to deliver, do some task. So what are C functions? We can compare C functions with Gini. We can define C functions as an agent that is invoked to carry out a particular task. So whenever you call a function, the function will appear, will do that task and it will disappear. Okay. So C functions can be understood with like all the functions will have name and they will be independent number one number two it performs a specific task number three it can return a value to the calling program so these are some of the facts about c functions what are c programs in fact a C program is a set of functions. Every C program starts at one function which is called main. Function main calls other functions. Now functions can be of two types. They can be predefined library functions. Okay, like printf, scanf. And there can be some user defined functions as well which we define. So let's explore what are the questions which are often asked in placement examinations from the point of view of functions. So just for a revision, quick revision purpose, this is the code of C function, which we are using over here. Just after hash defined pi, the value of pi we have given, the line where we, we have declared the function is called function declaration or prototype. We all have learned this. And thereafter we have the main function, integer main void and then the code. In, in the code of the main, we are calling the function. So you can see there's a function call over there. Area is equal to find area and under bracket we are passing on the value radius okay so whenever the function is called the function the execution passes on to the function and the function has been defined below okay you can see double find area and then double r so the radius the value of the radius which we have passed on is assigned to the variable r and then finally the Calculations are done uh, with the help of local declaration, which in this case, in this code is the result. And finally, after the calculation, the value of the result is returned. Returned where? It will go back to where it was called. So it was called in the main function. So it will go back to uh, the main function and it will be assigned to the value will be assigned to the variable area in the main function. And thereafter, we can have the results as well okay so now having uh, understood how function works let's move on to what kind of questions are asked generally in placements so here are few examples number one look at this code so there's a function obviously main function it has a b c three variables we are asking the user enter the value of a and b and whatever user enters goes to address of a and address of b okay but we are doing what scanning only one okay one value because we have percentile d only one percentile d is there and whatever we have scanned we are assigning to c and thereafter we are printing the value of c so what will be the output? Interesting, isn't it? 
Can you guess what will be the output of this program? Okay. Let me tell you. The answer will be one. Why one? Because scanner function is being asked. Just check again what was the code. Scanner function is returning some value and that value is assigned to C. Now here the scanf is not the user defined function. Scanf is the library function which we have been using. It also has some return type, return value. And that value is one. So one will be assigned to C and will have the output as one. So scanf or printf, they both have the return types as well. So scanf returns total number of inputs scanned successfully. In our case, although we uh, scan two values, but the values a and b, we have given address of a and address of b, but we are scanning only one value. Okay, so that means the return type will be one. So that is why the answer will be one. In case uh, it's a failure, we uh, have EOF if input failure occurs before the first receiving argument was assigned. Similarly, on for the printf, it returns total number of characters printed or negative value if the output error uh, is there. Next. Which argument is passed to f flush? Now these are all library functions. f flush is also a library function. You uh, maybe have used f flush in programs with structures where there are a lot of inputs. Okay. So which argument is passed to f flush? Options are no parameters, stdin, stdout, stder. Now the answer is, I think you know if you have used it, answer is stdin. Generally it is used for input where, where there are large number of inputs are involved. We clear the things, clear the memory with the help of f flush. So stdin, steady in will be used. Okay, question number three. Which of the following function is used to accept string with white spaces? Okay. So white spaces, blank spaces are being accepted which uh, through which of these functions? Number one, get white spaces string. Number two, scanf. Number three, gets. Number four, get strings. And the answer is option C, gets. So gets, you all know that gets is a, a string function which scans uh, the white spaces as well. So we can use uh, gets to scan the blank spaces. Next, again, this is one more uh, library function. So what is the mathematical function used to round off 6.23 to 7? Now the value is 6.23 and we want to round off the value of 6.23 to 7. So floor C, these are two options with different inputs. So the result of the answer of this question is option D. We'll be using C and we'll be passing on the value 6.23 and it will do what? It will uh, round off to the value C. C is the upper value. So we'll round it off to 7. Okay. Next, include stdio.h, we all know it's a header file and thereafter we have the main function and inside the main function you can see that the function, the main function is calling a function whose name is function, okay, and thereafter return zero and the function is printf, function in C is interesting, now what will be the output of this program? If you're thinking that the output will be simple function in C is interesting, then you are wrong because it will have compiler error. Why is it so? Because compiler reads functions. It doesn't know whether the, where, where the function is located. So we need to initialize the function before the mean. 
and that is why function prototypes are needed but in this program we have not declared function before main we have just defined it after the main function and function the main function doesn't know where the code is and that is why we'll have what the compilation error okay next these are two codes which you can see again one of the questions which has been asked in placements and you can see that uh, we have parameters integer a integer b integer c and it is uh, defined in the function okay and we have called the function in the main but in both the cases we are passing only two parameters although we have defined three in the second case you can see that we have initialized c is equal to 1 in the uh, parameter list itself okay if you want to pass on two values you need to have exact two values in the parameter list as well otherwise it will not run so the correct option will be something like this we have defined integer a and b and then we can calculate the return a and b and we can pass on two values to the function 12 and 2 the result will be calculated and will be returned as you can see on the screen okay finally what will be the output of this c program we have integer function then we have main so prototype is there so there won't be any error regarding prototype okay main function inside you can see that i is equal to function so whatever the function is returning is initialized to i and thereafter we are printing i the value of i okay print f name we are having the value of i and what does function do the function which is named function here so we don't have any codes specific codes is it, it there is a just integer a and then thereafter we are having a is equal to 250 okay so no printf no calculations only a has been defined and thereafter we are initializing the value of a which is equal to 250 to what will be the result of this program okay interesting isn't it so the output will be one why because the function doesn't do anything okay, on its own, it does not return anything. But by default, the C compiler returns 1. Why? Because it was successfully executed. So you can see the code. So because the code was successfully executed, integer A was declared and the value of 250 was assigned to integer A successfully. So, the compiler assigns one and that one is assigned to the point where it was called. So, that means I will have value of one. So, we'll be printing one. So, these, are, these were some of the questions uh, which are generally uh, asked in uh, placements. That's all uh, for this video. Thank you.